with the man himself competing. And what can I say, we've been up since half three this morning. It's now about half eight. We're hungry, thirsty. He's got his food prep, got my food prep. First protocol, find a cluster, coffee shop, get some caffeine. Then we've got a three hour bloody drive. There was a million and one muffins up there that I was that close to buying everyone. But look, it's unfair on John if he's dieting really hard. And if I'm just stuffing my face with muffins, which I could be. Um, but nah, we said we stick to the food anyway. There's no point in wasting it. And remember guys, never travel nowhere about this. It's not as good as ketchup, but um, it does the job. So guys, we got a car, we asked for a Volkswagen, we got a Passat, and I don't know what that noise is. And they gave it to us with no petrol. Oh, shit, I didn't even know it was a petrol diesel. Right guys, here we are, we've just got to the gaff. A uh, bit of a delay because they wouldn't let us in the house because it was being clean, but now we're in here and uh, might as well bring you for a quick little room tour. So we've got the lovely two in the background doing their little munch up. We're carb loading ether at the moment on cereal and John's on the old sweet potato. Later tonight we will get more uh, technical, the joys of baby food. This is my room, pretty sweet, do the job. I think this is it, where we are. So guys, Voila, we got the shower. Um, that's the bathroom. This is where John Neef will be saying. And that is it guys, pretty basic, does the job. We're only here for two nights. We're here for one reason only, to get the pro card and then fly home to Ireland, celebrating. Been up since half three in the morning. Well, I have, they've been up a bit earlier than me. It's just been a day full of caffeine and caffeine and caffeine. Literally, I wouldn't even like to dream or know how much caffeine I've had, but hopefully we'll sleep tonight, anyway. <laughs> right guys, this is the most important part of any uh, peak week prep, it's just a carb up. So basically, we're carving John up today. We're gonna go with 600 grams of carbs. We're currently 350 grams of carbs in, in meal five. What we're gonna be doing tonight is we're gonna be eating into the night. We're gonna be setting our alarm clock. Every two and a half hours, we're gonna be pumping in 40 to 50 grams of carbs as I monitor his condition throughout the night. As I said, remember guys, this sport is about one thing and one thing only, peaking on that day. Look at that, abs popping, fill them out more. This time we're taking a different approach in terms of peak week. We're not cutting these water, we won't be cutting these water till the morning. Because remember guys, carbs, glycogen cannot be present in the muscle without the presence of water. And what we're gonna be doing eating tonight, playing the game, We've got these in the shop, baby food, full of vitamins, full of minerals. Trust me, keep it a secret. Just uh, off now to get Mr. Fitz's tan. We're all freezing our nuts off as you can see. It is sunshine, but we're all freezing. So guys, now you see him, Mr. Snow White, but next time you see him, it'll be Mr. Oompa Loompa. That's after seven meals today. As I said, we're not counting the calories, we're counting the carbs. That's what's gonna fill him up, get the bellies of these muscles, looking at full as, full of glycogen. Right guys and girls, it's been a hell of a long day. It is now four minutes to nine. Just back from the tanning place. Johnny's all tanned up, good to go. As I said earlier, we'll be eating into the night. The conditions getting better by the hour, but it's just about me monitoring it. So we'll be setting our alarms for 11 p.m., 2 a.m., keep monitoring the condition, keep pumping in the carbs. As I said, that's the thing what I do with my clients. Another coach will get that. I'll go to any lengths whatsoever to make sure he brings his best possible condition. Because at the end of the day, I'm motivated by results, not by money, by fucking results, that is what I want. So as long as I know I've given him my utmost 100% and his condition is on point, then I can do no more. It's just down to him on the day, busting his moves. We have left not one stone unturned this entire prep and I want it for him more than anything you ever could imagine. It's been a hell of a long day. They've been up since 2 a.m. traveling from Chile. I've been traveling since 3 a.m. No, I was up at 3 a.m. Left the half three traveling from Cork. We're all bait, we're all tired. So tomorrow morning, it's a different ball game, different mindset. We have got to be on the ball from the World Cup, up at 7 a.m., hyped up, in the zone, 
blaring the tunes and I've got to rev him up to make sure he gets on that stage and there's not one thing about his mind that he smashes it. Remember, fitness modeling is different to bodybuilding. Bodybuilding, mandatory poses, fitness is all about milking it. You can never be too cocky. All right, guys, I love you and leave you. For me, well, for now, you get two hours sleep, so I'm shattered. All right, guys, I'll keep this short and sweet because it's 2.04. We've been getting up every two hours. I'm so tired and I'm soaking wet, so I'm sweating. Um, this is what we've got John rolling up in now. We're just pumping in carbs now, no more protein. 75 grams of uh, this banana cereal. He actually likes it, so we're happy. We're still keeping the water in at present. We'll be cutting it in the next two hours and loading the dregs. He's coming in fuller, leaner, and tighter. So the magic is bang on point. Right, good morning YouTube, we're a lot more happy, cheerful this morning because we've got to be, because Mr. Fitz is competing in about four hours, so it got real. Um, it's now 7.46, we've been up since seven. He's had a nice lean steak for breakfast. At this stage, the water's gone. All we're doing is loading on protein and fats. As I said, he's on stage in about T minus four hours. Plan of attack is me. I'm going there, driving to the venue now, dropping him off to get his second coat of tan. I'll come back here, wait for a while and then we'll be ready to go when he gets on stage at 12 midday. Show you how Mr. Fitz is feeling now. So as you can see, we just get a pump and some jelly on him and he looks absolutely sick. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you what guys, he is good to go. I'm gonna get some trophies. <laughs> Right guys, it's now 10.43, I'm just checking in. I'm still feeling a bit rough after last night's junk food. But look, it's show day. John's currently at the venue. It's not started yet, it's not open to the public, so I can't be there. So I'm doing what I usually do when I'm on the go. Check-ins galore, Saturday, Sunday, my two busiest days. So we've got to get this done, we've got to stay afloat. Um, for me, neck and coffee all morning. Need to wake the frig up, man, and hyped up for this show. Right, so anyway, we're gonna finish this, finish the check-ins, get our asses to the show. We're gonna show you some footage of him rocking it up on stage. And then, as I said, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. This is the big one for him. He deserves it more than anyone. John, if you're watching this, I know you ain't seen this and you're at the show. You've done me proud, man. Also a quick one, don't forget, you know my business, online coach. If you wanna get in the shape of your life, be it photo shoot prep, stage prep, drop me an email. My results speak for themselves. I will never leave any stone unturned. So do yourself a favor, drop me an email, and let me work my magic. Just getting a quick little uh, bag of crap in before we go, getting all the micronutrients in. A little trick, when you ain't got enough protein in your food, shop, tuna, mix it up, and then you go, you know what? That microwave, utilize it, bang it in there. So yeah guys, we just smothered it in uh, some ketchup, and I mean, <laughs> it looks like crap. It tastes like crap, but it does the job. So here we are at John, we're backstage, he's about to go on in about, how long we going on in? 20 minutes? 20 minutes, carving them up, getting some jellies in. I'll tell you what, this brings back so many memories for me when I was up on stage. I've competed in this very federation. It's the exact same building where I got my pro card here two years ago. It's just scary, like, just how times have changed. But look, it's his goal now, so it's time for him to step up to the plate. But um, again guys, I'll be honest, it's given me the itch to want to get back on stage but there's only one real answer to that, only one person who can answer that question and that's uh, the missus. It's up to her if I ever do get on that stage again. Um, because at the end of the day, the strain it puts in a relationship, it's not just a one man game, it's two people that commit to a prep and honestly, uh, she's been with me from the start so I love her for that. So babe, if you're watching this, just give me the green light and we'll go for gold again. Right, here we are today guys, Pure Elite, the big one, the World Championships with the man himself, Stuart Armstrong. He was the guy who got me into the fitness industry two years ago. I've got so much respect for this guy and what he's done to the whole industry. We need something like this in Ireland guys, but look, that's why I'm bringing over all my clients to this federation, because honestly guys, it's the most love, it's just a family, that's all we are. You one do big need family. it in Ireland. Why isn't it yeah, in Ireland? Yeah, why is it in Ireland? Why isn't, it, why isn't this in Ireland? That's look, Ireland he's just right? said it guys, it's got to happen. There we go. Anyway guys, Stuart Armstrong, go check him out. Pure Elite Federation, the place to compete. Right guys, this is Kat, me and her became friends just over Instagram just randomly and trust me, she's an MMA fighter, she will knock you out, trust me, if you're pretty blonde, she don't take no prisoners.
girl. John is a 26-year-old personal trainer. He's from Ireland. Right guys, after a fucking long day, it's now, what's the time now? It's like half 11 at night, we've been here, I've been here for over 12 hours, he's been here for nearly, what, 13 hours, 14, 15 hours? Look, it was all worth it, we came up, this is what we came for, boom, happy out, third place, walk your ass for first time in the fitness model industry, we fucking smashed it. How do you feel, man? Look at that, guys, look at that, yes! <laughs> get food! It's 27 minutes past 11, it's past my bedtime. We've got to be up at 6 a.m., we've got to catch a flight. I'm absolutely shattered, it has been a hell of a weekend. It was so worth it, because we got what we came for. We came, what we saw, we conquered. We never chat shit. We had one goal in mind to get that trophy, and we've come back with a trophy, so I'm happy out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. From me, Mike, AKA Fatboy Slim, it's time for bed, so uh, Mike's out.